Your Life in Sex Island, Chapter 4, Illustrious Immigration, page 97. Okay, Houston, we have a problem. The Mexicans are invading. An alien invasion, war of the worlds. The millions of aliens are already here and are invading our bodies. I go along with you. We have a problem. Shouldn't we stop lying about it? Here are some of the lies. A nation without secure borders is no nation at all. Ron Paul. Sure it is, Ronnie. For a couple hundred years we were oh so proud that we had the world's longest undefended border with Canada. Weren't we a nation when we kicked the shit out of the Huns twice? Now we are talking about building a fence up there too. It's called insanity. It's the American way. What part of illegal don't you understand? Well, to tell you the truth, not much. The ill, maybe. The gal, maybe. The E, of course, is the base of the natural logarithms, as we all know. What I do understand when you ask, what part of illegal don't you understand, referring to illegal immigrants, is that you are a spoiled, rich city kid who doesn't know anything. You have never talked, that is, communicated, with anyone outside of your class. You're a country club type with no humanity or humility. You think that the American Enterprise Institute is the American way instead of just another institution whose inmates should be institutionalized. Issue a national special card that indicates a person's name, date, birth date, biographical information. Mitt Romney. Are you any relation to Walter Mitty? Come on, Mitty, they all have cards. Cards are cheap, except the St. Louis cards. When I was 10, I fixed my birth certificate so that I could get a 12-year-old work permit. When I was 16, I fixed my birth certificate so that I could get an 18-year-old beer permit. 18 was the legal beer age in Wisconsin. This I did with just bleach and an ink pen. Imagine what you can do with a good drawing program. But maybe Mitty wants a computer chip implanted in everyone's brain. That should do it, Mitty. Now they can't cross our border and they can't cross you. Now you've got them. Even a bitty chip can be easily forged. We need a tamper-proof ID card. Rudolph W. Giuliani. Now we know how your nose got red, Rudolph. If we can't have a tamper-proof voting machine, I doubt that we can have a tamper-proof ID card. Maybe you've met Tampex-proof, but maybe not. With all the women you've had, I'm sure you know Tampex. Amnesty didn't mean rewarding illegal behavior. January 2008, John McCain. No amnesty? Well, John, why don't you give the Mexicans amnesty when you are so anxious to give the telecommunications companies executives amnesty? Backdated legal immunity for spying on us. Oh, I forgot. Mexicans are poor and telecommunications executives are rich. Mexicans committed a small victimless crime trying to better themselves. Telecommunications executives committed a major crime against U.S. citizens when they, the telecommunications executives, were trying to undermine our Constitution. So now I'll tell you what we are going to do about immigration and why we are going to do it. Then I'll give you my opinion of what we should do and why we should do it. But first, here's some more of that brown stuff from some bulls. If you're a spoiled rich city kid, you may never have seen it splatter on the ground. Here's what it looks like. Quote, finish the border fence, maintain border patrol of 20,000 agents. Rudolph W. Giuliani. Quote, Finish the border fence by 2010. Deploy 23,000 more patrol agents. Mike Huckabee. We must secure our borders now. Ron Paul. Finish building border fence. Mitt Romney. Strengthening our borders. Hillary Clinton. Doubling the number of border agents. John Edwards. Secure our borders. Barack Obama. Secure our borders. George W. Bush. Well, at least idiocy is bipartisan. Purchase the book now by clicking on the link in the description below.